All right, so we got F124 official gameplay deep dive screen video. Hello, I'm Alex James. I would have just reacted to the, to the trailer. Play deep dive of EA Sports. F124. Now here for deep dive. We'll introduce the game-changing upgrades we've made to enhance the player's driving experience. Let's go. Got a lot of videos today. Hope you guys enjoyed them. The suspension of a Formula One car defines his handling Bro, this Oh my God, I love this. In F124, we've built on our previous systems to better reflect real-world behavior. I like the inside the car POV. So much more than I'm used to. But it's awesome. It feels like you've got a lot more control of it. The so are, are these guys like actual like F1 like racers? Felt in real F1 cars, changing how the car performs while under different steering conditions. Bro, because like F1 steering is like crazy a little bit though. It's also more challenging. Because now you also like need loose. to think about the weight of the car. And you cannot just send it. The spring and damper forces have also been revised, adding a realistic feel of weight distribution. Because like right here, you got to turn. Is right here, you got to turn. Because if you turn too late, this GG's. means players have more options when tuning their setups and more refined control while really? racing. These updates to the suspension model are among the most significant we've made in the series. The working gave quite a lot of time. It was definitely the, the exit of corners. You can get your foot down if you're on the right gear a lot earlier. Oh, bro, listen, look, bro. I think for me, like, my favorite part We've about F1 is I just love dri like, driving and practice. Simulation I love that. Giving players a more realistic and predictable experience. An all new thermal model provides an accurate representation on the effects heat can have on tire Wait, grip. There's a thermal model? Overall car performance. Differences in handling. At high speed, I've got all the grip in the world, but at low speed, I'm fighting to hold on. A smooth driver in So is that like is that like real life? Last longer than one who's pushing Ferrari. in the dirty air of the car ahead. Try to push here, build up a bit of speed. There's plenty of grip. I'm nowhere near the limit of the car right now. He looks like an F1 uh, racer. Is this the kick car? Variable conditions. Wait, is this the, the kick car? Oh my god, that feedback, rain looks crazy. Meaning you can use it to your advantage. That to rain looks crazy. I, and I also like the rain on the screen as well. I like that a lot. Look at Call that kick, baby! The racing line and prevent them from overheating in wet conditions. Bro, I love that kick car. Grip, maybe even more than uh, we are used to. And it's very pointy, so it turns in how you want. Hmm. Improve uh, arrow. In addition to Honestly, revolutionary uh, tire work. and suspension updates, we've reworked the car's aerodynamics to add aerodynamics. a new layer of realism. We've reworked the so I'm guessing like this whole game, I mean, well, it is based off like a real sport. A so. wind tunnel. This gives a more accurate effect on the forces being put through the car. When you follow another driver, you'll not only experience greater acceleration due to the reduced air resistance, but you'll also feel a reduction in grip as a result of the turbulent air. So it's like, bro, We've this is like based off of like DRS actual like realism. Reduction like, system. A crucial tool used for- Bro, I love this POV. It performs differently on a per car and per track basis, meaning a car with a broader that Ferrari will benefit more from DRS due to increased drag. F124 also reflects the official team's characteristics, meaning a car designed around straight line speed, such as the Williams, will perform better at Monza than at Monaco. Oh. We've improved aerodynamic simulation through changes I didn't even to the chassis and floor profiles. Hey, comment down below. What's your favorite brand of car? Just randomly. Performance metrics through in-game telemetry to customize. Oh my God! Look at the science behind this. Upgrade power unit. Uh, upgraded power unit. The internals of the cars in F1. Are they over here racing in London? Too. Starting with the power unit, we've redesigned <gasps> how energy is harvested, allowing the driver to control energy gain in real time. Okay. Improved so it like you have to like really get into like in depth like with the settings and stuff. It's probably gonna take like a lot of practice. And creates opportunities. Especially like if, the especially like if you're new. The players can deploy mid -race. Like if you're new and you like you know like what F1 racing is, then like I think you'll click on like you'll, you'll click on faster than the regular person. For example, drivers can derate the power delivery by lifting and coasting at the end of a straight, allowing them to save more energy for deployment later on. Whereas that detail was quite hard to uh, to pick up on F1 23, 24, game changer. Okay. We're pleased to be bringing back a fan favorite feature. ERS modes can once again be changed in all sessions from your multi-function display, 
meaning you can activate hot lap or overtake modes for those clutch moments where you put everything on the line for glory. Wow. Pre-order EA Sports F124. And it's actually coming out. F124, man. F123. Bro, it looks so good. I want to be honest early with you. access content. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not really too... Oh, bro, look at that. McLaren. Bro, listen. McLaren is actually one of my favorite brands of cars. I'll probably say Lamborghini, then McLaren. Um, but listen, listen. Let me tell you something, bro. F124, I will give you props. I don't really know too much about, like, the settings and too much about the science behind it and all that stuff like that. Um, you know, if you do, uh, that's good for you. But for me, I really don't know too much of the signs behind it. Now, I do know about just like I've played the game before. Uh, I think I played like a, a demo uh, before. And I'm going to be honest with you. It, at first, it was very, I think since I was so new to it, because, I, you know, I'm used to games like Need for Speed, uh, Forza Horizon. You know, a lot of those racing games, um, like this game right here, it's not even just about like going fast or whatever. You have to like, you know, like. You have to like time, like you know, like uh, when you're gonna turn because if you turn too late, uh, you know, you're gonna like stall out and hit a wall or stuff like that. It, it's just crazy. Like this game really takes like a certain amount of skill. So uh, that's what I'll say is different. So I don't know if the if the turn and everything is smoother in this game now. Um, I mean, if they if they just explained that and I didn't know because they were speaking in like car science, then you know I just didn't know. But comment down below. What do you guys think about F124 about this deep dive? Uh, because you know all I know is it looks bro, it looks way better. I love the rain as well. How like the rains on the screen stuff like that is absolutely amazing. Uh, so I love those like those small details and stuff. So see you guys up there. So it was about and peace.